Hey guys, I uh, just got a delivery in. Came in a great big semi truck. It's 837 pounds of granite. And I had to offload it by hand out here by the road because I didn't have a fork truck to offload. So, But uh, this is a project we started back in the fall between me and a local historian, uh, Catherine Sias. She's uh, local to Edenville and uh, she kind of is the a county historian also. She's involved with the Historical Society. But uh, let me get out here and I'll show you what this is. And we'll get these loaded up and, and take them up to the cemetery. All right, there it is. That's 837 pounds of granite. And uh, these are five out of six Civil War veterans that have unmarked graves in Edenville Township Cemetery, just north of here, uh, just by Wixom Lake there. The uh, sixth veteran was not eligible for uh, a headstone because of some prison time that he did. So unfortunately we couldn't get him one, but we got these five. We're gonna take them up to the cemetery and uh, we're gonna install them. All right, well, I didn't film anything today. Uh, we were having a good time, uh, me and three of the ladies that helped me quite a bit um, with some of this volunteer stuff. Um, but really simple process for these. Uh, you see a lot of people nowadays pour these in concrete, uh, and I don't like that because, especially if you ever have to level this thing out again or if you have to replace it, it's very hard to replace once you add you know, 40 or 50 pounds of concrete to it. Uh, so a local guy, uh, John Marsh, actually donated some 22A gravel, which is just crushed limestone. It's, it's driveway uh, limestone gravel. We uh, put about four, we dug a hole about 24 inches deep. We put about uh, five inches of gravel in the bottom. And then we put the headstone down, poured the rest of the gravel around the headstone, and then packed the uh, dirt that we dug out of the hole back in the hole. And uh, as you can see, it does wiggle a little bit, but uh, it's uh, after we get a little bit of rain, it'll settle down, and this thing will be in there rock solid. But if you ever needed to pull it back out, just grab a hold of it, pull it right out of the ground, it comes right out, slick as butter. So. We uh, got five new veteran headstones here in the uh, cemetery, and uh, there's even one right back there. You can just barely see the top of it. So, uh, happy to get these guys what they deserve. Actually, they deserve more than this. Uh, this is the very minimum that we could do for them to get them a, a headstone to mark their final resting place for what they did for our country. So. Happy to do it, and uh, I feel better now that all but one veteran has a uh, uh, headstone in this cemetery now. So, awesome. <laughs>